There's nothing like a child's smile to help brighten your day, and helping young children keep that smile healthy is the goal of a program that's now in its fourth year. Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller checked out today to see how it works. Look up at the sky and open your mouth again. This isn't the kind of exam you might expect to see in school, but a dental exam is exactly what 40 students ages 4 and 5 are getting at Lindwood Elementary School. Look up. Wonderful. The children enrolled in the pre-K counts program are getting their teeth checked through the dental clinic at Volunteers in Medicine. Educating the child on good oral hygiene is really imperative. Without it, research shows it can lead to illnesses which can harm a young child's well-being, their academic achievement, and even success later in life. For many of these children, this is their first interaction with a dentist, something that should have happened by the age of two. What Dr. Mahima Singh uncovers isn't always pretty. I see a lot of uh, dental neglect many times. Children living in poverty often don't have access to early childhood dental care, according to United Way of Wyoming Valley, which funds these dental checkups. We would never want dental health problems to become a reason why children are unable to learn in the classroom. If a child has a cavity or has another oral health problem, they're not concentrating on learning their ABCs. You're brushing your teeth at night and morning. Dr. Singh hopes this dental exam at school is a major step for these children toward a life of good oral hygiene. Just have that positive relationship right from the beginning, from childhood, so they're not intimidated or scared of just going and seeing a dentist and taking care of their teeth. With the health beat in Hanover Township, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News. United Way of Wyoming Valley provides $30,000 in funding for dental checkups of about 2,000 students a year.